Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test. We've got a head absolute joy for you today. Uh, this ski's been around for a couple years, just has a really nice following. Uh, strong ski for an intermediate, uh, even lower intermediate, advancing beginner, uh, you know, advancing intermediate, really starting at that intermediate range and going out. We've just seen a lot of really happy skiers on this, on this absolute joy. Uh, and we're all about it. Uh, they keep it pretty simple. Um, they use a composite wood core in this ski uh, as well as graphene to make it stiffer. Uh, graphene is very light and very stiff so when added to that composite wood core it does give this ski a little bit of a boost of power for sure. Uh, but really they're keeping things pretty darn light. Um, they have I would call it more of a half cap sidewall construction so starting with the top of the ski, they are tapering it down, uh, that cap down, um, and then the sidewall ends, you know, closer to the ends of the skis, probably almost in line with the rocker where the rocker profile starts. Um, so that gives you the blend of, um, you know, a light, quick cap construction with the edge grip and stability of a vertical sidewall. Um, so it's a nice blend of performances in the ski for sure. Uh, it is 79 millimeters underfoot, um, and this 158 generates a 12.2 meter turn radius. So in terms of that width, you know, we're not quite at that 80 millimeter mark, but the upper 70s is a great place to be if you're spending most uh, or all of your time on groomed terrain and more, uh, you know, more smooth uh, slopes. With the 12.2 meter turn radius, you know, this thing is really easy to get up on edge and to make a carved turn. You know, if you're learning uh, to perfect the art of the carved turn, having something like this with a shorter turn radius does make it easier to get it up on edge and really make that clean round arc, uh, leaving super, you know, super round arcs in your wake. Um, you know, we just see a lot of that going on up there at the mountain behind these. And it's just a really nice thing for skiers to learn how, learn how to carve a turn on. Um, so we have this profile now, um, very, very positive camber underfoot uh, with kind of that composite wood material and the graphene. They have to build in energy to the ski and they do that through this, carb, through this camber uh, profile. Um, we're not gonna see a whole lot of tip rocker. Uh, it is just about to where that sidewall ends. Um, and it is very, very low, you know, pretty minimal splay, pretty low tip profile here. Uh, keeps you nice and glued to the snow. No surprises there. Uh, you know, very confidence-inspiring ski. Um, same thing can be said about the tail. Minimal splay, enough though that it doesn't lock you into the turn like a more high-performance or a race-oriented ski. You know, with that shorter turn radius, you do want to be able to get uh, out of one turn and into the next turn without being locked in. That's where this tail shape comes in handy. Uh, fits right in really well with uh, the absolute joy as a whole. Um, so like I said before, just a wide range of skiers. Uh, you know, I would start in the intermediate range and build out from there. Uh, so anywhere from a beginner who's looking to buy their first pair of skis all the way up to an advanced skier who's looking for something light and easy to maneuver, um, you know, to use mainly in a front side capacity. This is a great option. Uh, so back again, the head to uh, absolute joy. Uh, check this thing out at skiessentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.